Following the trail of spice shipments, we made our way up to Nunavut Bay, Canada, the secret hub of Jean Besson's shipping empire. As a young man, he trekked across Canada to strike it rich during the gold rush of 1852. An avid prospector, he took some chances and ended up buried alive in an avalanche. Miraculously, the quick freeze kept him alive, and 120 years later, thanks to global warming, he thawed out. A product of his time, he dreams of taming the wild north, damming every river and chopping down all the trees with progress delivered at the sharp end of an axe. Shipping spice for the claw gang proved a lucrative way to bankroll his one-man war against nature. And yet, I have to feel a little sorry for him. He's just a normal guy from the 1850s. Back in his day, he'd be a hero, but today, he's a villain. Either way, that man's got more than his fair share of the clockwork parts. What a low-tech guy like Jean Bassan is doing with robot parts is a mystery. I almost don't want to know. But as always, it's only a matter of time before I find out. Check what they have for what they have. Okay, that's not cheap at all. Let's just buy let's just sell everything. Hover pack. Berserker charge. Oh, that's actually really good. I've got a oh yeah, this is dead now. Oh my god. Hey, let me look here real quick. So is this- wait, is it just a passive? Okay, cool. Hold up my controller acting up. This is a lot from the last time I put. Oh, there's a place I mean, it makes everything a lot more easier to collect. We haven't even started. Wait, how many bottles here? We haven't. We haven't even started. We got four. Crazy. All right.
Goes a tornado. Okay. So good, man. We're right, we're right, like uh, one tenth of the way down. Is that bear? This is pretty cool.
Top of the top of that top pass. There we go. There we go. Make it. So they have something in the pocket. Okay. Oh wow, it's just diamonds. Okay, cool. Nineteen? Okay, I almost got like twenty left. I mean not twenty left. Uh roughly ten. Let's go as it is. Sounds like it's over there. Oh my, it's right behind the thing, really? Okay, so far so good. We got we got first treasure. Alright, and we have like nine more to go. 
I want actually eight more. Ooh, this guy has something in his pocket. Okay. So it's I can't tell what's in his pocket. Huh? Ooh, large necklace. Which was that one? Upper pack with the yank down. I didn't like that.
missing the other suicide three. Where could it be? This guy has. Okay, let's see what he has. Let's see what he Ooh, diamond. Okay. Cool. Let me sapphire. All of a sudden, this will be weird to me. I mean, this one. I mean, this will lead to lead to it.
Ooh, Ruby, go. Cool. That's good to know. I've got a lead on the clockwork party. Head through town and out into the wilderness. It's here. Just to go to the mission. Attacking his files doesn't sound hard. Now, climbing up a sheer rock wall? That'll be a challenge. You're in luck. Before Jean Bassad took over, this used to be a popular destination for rock climbers. Some of their old wall hooks are still around. I'm guessing I just jump and hit the circle button to latch on. That's right. And remember to lean back before you spring off the hook. You'll get more altitude. Thanks for the tip. I'll give it a try. <laughs> All right, here's your note. Jackpot Sly, that's Sean Bisson. Looks like he didn't notice me come in. Just stay out of sight and take a picture of each of his train routes. They should narrow our search for his share of the clockwork parts. All right, I'm on it. Hello, Arpeggio here. Salutations, Mr. Arpeggio. Y'all got time to shoot the breeze? 
please. Of course, for you, Chum, always. Although, must we communicate through that dreadful speakerphone? Yeah, I can think better while my legs move. Pumps blood to your brain. Yes, of course. One must keep blood in one's brain. But do tell, is there some pressing matter you'd like to discuss? First off, are you still a coming on schedule to get that Northern Light battery? Yes, we're well underway. My blimp should arrive at the end of the week. Bullseye. For a second, when are you gonna give me a look-see at that clockwork brain of yours? I'd sure like to buy it off you. Be song, you covetous troglodyte. You already got the lion's share of the parts. Would you take my meager portion of the robotic bird for your own and strip me of all my earthly pleasures? Easy there, partner. You're all up in a lather. It's just that I found some real use for the clockwork parts I got. Why, I put three of them in the engines of my best trains. With those robotic doohickeys feeding the fire, them trains will run all night and all day. I call them my iron horses. Of course, I gotta keep the plans hidden. Stuffed them in my three trophy pass. Sounds like you're making capital use of your share of the robotic loot. But for now, the clockwork brain stays with me on the blimp. Although, when I arrive to pick up the Northern Lights battery, I might be persuaded to give you a peek. That'll do fine. By the way, you ready to giddy up into Perry for the final hoedown? Yes, the blimp's hypnotist wavelengths conform to the specs drawn up by the Contessa. And Dimitri, before his unfashionable capture, did a bang-up job of distributing spice through his nightclub. Sounds like all you're missing is some northern light electricity. You're correct, sir. Yours is the final piece to the puzzle. The missing link. Uh -huh. okay. Once the battery is aboard, nothing will stand in the claw gang's way. Harris will be ours. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, I guess I'll be seeing you at the end of the week. Right. Farewell, Bison. Stiff up a lip. Ta-ta. Sly, did you hear that? Besides hits the Iron Horse blueprints in his trophy bat. Head for the fish on top of the fireplace. Okay. Excellent. Now get out of that cabin before you're spotted. I thought it'd be like two more. Oh, I guess he has the iron lungs. I guess he has the clockwork After lungs. After analyzing Bizon's decorating technique, I think we find the other trophy bass above the mantle in the two remaining cabins. Okay, so should we start? Oh, we just gotta run over here.
Okay. Oh, oh, there's a third. Okay, there's a third one there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. The last trophy bass is above the fireplace. Be careful. Attention all cabin guards. I've heard tell from the boys at Ponderosa Cabin there's someone been in my head blueprints. Everyone stay sharp. This ain't a soup can. I don't pay you boys to fall again. Shouldn't take long. Ooh, yeah, I think this one. There we go. Okay, okay. Okay, perfect. Sly's efforts, we now know the location of all three of the local clockwork parts. Two lugs and a stomach. John Besson has grafted each piece to the engine in one of his iron horse trains. This improvement allows the trains to run all night and all day. We won't have the luxury of sneaking in while they're stopped. While they're in motion, the only way aboard is through a hatch on the caboose roof, which unfortunately has been locked down. These need to go. First, collect the spice gas from the balloons above town, and then land on the back of the caboose to blow off the locks. Once the way is cleared, I'll suit up and jump into Iron Horse number one while it passes near town. With some luck, we'll have the first clockwork lug in a few hours. All right, this is pretty straightforward. Okay. Attention, man. This here's John. Oh wait. Uh, that was a quality job you boys did. Uh, let's see what they have. Let's see if we can make it money real quick. 
Okay, my rate gonna be pretty expensive, but I will do go grab a lot of treasure. Oh my god, they got a gold brick in them? That's what they're paid. They're being paid liquid gold at this point. Okay, okay, not too bad. Pretty, pretty, pretty easy. Okay, how much was that worth? Uh, Alabaster, Alabaster Chalice. All right, let's do this in order. Contessa. I'll follow her without being seen. She's bound to check on Murray sooner or later. Okay, that's... that's a good plan. Just don't get caught too. I don't want to be alone again. She did. Ooh, a nice sapphire.
Hey, criminal. You doing okay in there? I know it's tight, but you won't get shocked if you hold still. I'm okay. And thanks for that bag of jelly beans. I was starving. Won't be long now. Once I bust the other members of your gang, we'll get out of here. I'm grateful for the jelly beans and all, but aren't you on the outs with Interpol right now? I'm an honest cop. Busting the Cooper gang will prove my innocence and show everyone that Constable Neela set me up. You mean Captain Neela? I hear she got promoted. Whatever. Just sit tight. I'm going to look for your pals. Murray, I've come to break you out. Fat chance. This thing is triple padlocked, and Inspector Fox is carrying all the keys. Come on, buddy. You know I'm an expert at pickpocketing. She's tough, Sly. If you manage to get a key, you'd better run for it. Carmelita's sure to notice and chase after you. Leave her to me. <laughs> Okay, she planned. Okay, I'm not going to do that. And I just gotta get the heck out of here before she kills me. I felt that thief. nowhere to hide. Make it to Murray and just run that button and cheese it. Lose Carmelita before you try to free Mur Run, Sissy! Run and hide! Oh man, I pressed the button. Up. Okay. Wait, what well, doesn't count? Where, did, where is she? What if I bring her to there? What happened? Sneak up on me. 
find you. You know I will. standing in that box my pleasure you know how i love to mess around with carmelita yeah that's weird see you back at the safe house supposed to get up there to collect the spice gas. Murray's already commandeered this ice plane. Jump on its strut and he'll fly you up to a good paragliding altitude. Oh, and strap on a special vacuum backpack. It'll automatically collect the spice gas after you pop the balloon. Sounds like fun. Once you've collected enough gas, you'll have to land directly on the train's caboose. Why directly on the caboose? Denatured spice gas is very unstable at lower altitudes. Unless you land on the caboose, you won't have time to get the gas tank to the lock before it blows up. So you're saying I either land on the caboose or get blown to bits? That's correct. Chemistry can be a harsh mistress. Well, okay, he's in it. Oh, 
love me some Canadians, lights jumping and all that crazy stuff. the third one. Okay, this time I can actually pull it off. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Okay, I thought I thought the wire. I thought I just wire. Okay, that's actually cool. That's a safe. That's a, okay. So there's an actual safe icon. I guess I, I guess I did miss it. Okay, I guess we just grab the safe. I was wondering what that was. Where's the safe? Small nugget. 
Okay, not too bad. Sean Vissaw's in for another rude awakening the next time he checks in this vault. The code should be 129. Alright, give me something good. Oh, hey, it's a music box. Oh, it is a music box. Okay. Okay, I guess I switched to Bentley and grab the last one. Let's see what he has. number one should be passing by any time now I, I see it it's moving awfully fast just jump on the caboose and go in through the hatch piece of cake <laughs> okay here's it now from my health. Oh well. So far so good. Thank you. 
Look who it is over there. Wait, but he has like three pieces though. Shock up one strange robot organ for us, and one less iron horse train for John Hassan. Things are going great. We've already stolen one of Jean Bassan's three clockwork parts. However, Iron Horse 2 and 3 are going to be a little tougher to crack. First, I'll need to hop aboard Iron Horse 2 and do a little preemptive RC chopper strike to clear out the air defenses. Once cleared, it'll be up to Sly to work his magic in the interior to get at that second clockwork lug. Murray, you'll need to trap some of the local bear cubs in order to unlock a nearby ham car. We're gonna need it to catch up with Iron Horse number three. But don't worry, the cubs won't be hurt. Although I can't say the same for the guards. Oh, uh, heck yeah, we're gonna be abducting little bear cubs. That's, that sounds pretty fun. Or Murray, Murray, let's do this. All right, what's 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 on the to do list? Like? Wait, right, are we unlocking any passes? What's this? Oh, that's actually cool. Wait, do we have to get Oh no 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 we have to get on there. Okay, let's Okay, not too bad, not too rough, not too hard. Oh that that bad. Apart. A metal's too resilient for my bobs or your muscles. So for this job, we're going to have to rely on a stronger force. The love of a mother or her child. Uh, you got something to tell me? Yes, I've had the good fortune of locating two juvenile bear cubs. If you put them together inside that fence, they'd surely start fighting. Bears at that age are particularly antisocial. Noise from the squabble should bring their mother around to free the angry youths. I get ya. That big mama bear will be able to smash the fence no problem to free her cubs. That's correct. Beware, cubs, for you are hunted by the Murray. Okay, 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 that's what, okay, that's what, that's big goofy. Okay. How do I get over there? There's the first. There's the first. There is the first. Um, what, what, what am I gonna call it? The first victim of the American Epic Age. Damn it, her. Let's go, baby. They just gotta run. Sounds like a cat more than a bear. Good work, Murray. I'll send you the coordinates to the next bear cub. Bang it, I bet I bet some cave. Wait, how many wait, are we are we at like abducting like three? Boy, it's in the cave. Okay, it's gonna be in the cave. Okay, okay. We're just straight up. We're just straight up robbing. We're just straight up robbing this one.
I'm about to get destroyed if I find this chat. Where the heck is the third one? There's very big. I'm the pop bear. Let's go. You got a bucket. There they get. Oh, I thought they would be like chasing. Nope. Alright, there we go. Okay, I'll see. Alright, we're down to the next one. So far, so good. Alright, now we gotta get Bendy here. This one. What is it? Hold on. Heads up, Bentley. Here comes Iron Horse number two. <sighs> you and that RC chopper of yours ready? We'll get the job done. Provided I can catch up with that train. So how do I get to this one? So good. This had better work. Wait. I won't stand a chance making it through this train unless I neutralize the aerial defenses. Good thing I outfitted the RC chopper with a new cannon. Let's see. The X button drops bombs and the square button shoots forward. <laughs> Okay, easy enough. Oh yeah, this is this is going to be Carpal turn right now. What? Well, no, carpal's on the rest. I'm doing a finger grab. That's what it is. Train being this long. The 
There we go. Okay. Hold up. Let me stretch my finger. <laughs> yeah, my finger is cramping hard on that one. Well, not my finger, uh, the thumb. Clumsy tool. Alright, the beast of the, beast of the crime. Where the heck is it from? I don't even see this. I don't even see slides. Oh, it's over there. All right, not too hard. Ooh, okay. Let's check uh, what we have so far in our sell that. Okay. Okay, that one actually has to be, so I want that one. It's something good. Okay, a gold bar. It's okay. So far, so good. Do anything good? Nah, I'm pretty good. Come on. Close enough. There's more than one way to get on top of that caboose. He's gonna. Turned away, I can, I can, I can sneak strike him. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, run, run. We're just gonna, you know what? We're not. We're just we're gonna run. Uh, there you go. Okay. You have to Okay, guys, this is it. Time to break into Iron Horse number three and carry away the clockwork stomach. Now, the train's moving too fast to jump onto here in town, so we'll have to catch up with it on Murray's new handcar. Once we're in position, Sly will hop aboard and make his way up to the engine. While he travels through the interior, I'll provide air support with my RC chopper. I've planned this as a textbook train robbery. If we all do our jobs right, what could possibly go wrong? All right, I like I like the name of it. Operation Choo Choo Caboose is about to begin. All right, what do we need? I think we need Ben. Who do we need? Oh, Murray. Murray. Okay. I'm gonna get to Murray. I'm gonna get to some Murray action here. All right, Operation Choo Choo. Guys, we've got a train to catch. Got it. Strong work, Murray. Yeah, sure. The Murray's strength knows no limit. You're on, Sly. Break into that train and steal the clockwork stomach. That John Basson's one strange guy. The claw gang divides up the clockwork parts and he walks away with the stomach and lungs? It still creeps me out. We get creeped out later when we aren't riding an antique handcar at breakneck speeds. Good point. It's time for a train robbery. <laughs> Oh, so this weights. Wait, is it being powered by stomach? That's weird. How am I gonna get past this dude? Come on. Get some good tire. Oh, it's Carmelita. Okay. Hey, Koopa. Thought I might find you here. Just can't stay away from these clock oh, can um... you? No, oh, I just do it to meet exciting ladies like yourself. If you'd like some excitement, why not climb up on top of the train? I'm sure to get your heart pumping. Maybe even show you my new ride. No thanks, Neela. I've seen enough already. What's the problem, Poodle? Afraid you can't take me on. Have to call up your little friends for help. 
Come in, little friends. Neela's got me pinned down. Any chance of air support? I've already launched the RC chopper. The okay, I knew it. He put, he put glasses on, on Let's play. Let's get. What in blazes? All right, little RC friend. This should be a quick bit of destruction. I just could tap that, so I just got to tap that. Why the helicopters? Why? What? Oh my god. This is a what? Fast fingers. Oh no. Ooh. That was some things like a line, little mm. friend. Whatever you say, poodle. Okay, 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 we're good, we're good. Okay. Oh my god. 
We had to go for a second. <laughs> I've got a stomach on my hands, but other than that, I feel great. So you convert a stomach into a lung, is what I'm, what I'm, what I think, what I, I'm assuming. The gang and I had pulled off the impossible. We'd successfully robbed all of John Bisson's iron horse trains, and we were walking away with three, count them, three clockwork parts. And as a bonus, we shut down spice distribution in all of North America. Needless to say, we were pretty pleased with ourselves. Can't say the same for Carmelita. Once again, the framed policewoman had to run from the cops. Which was fun at first, but I'm starting to feel a little sorry for her. I mean, what if they replace Carmelita with someone else? I don't want another cop on my tail. She's a big part of why this is all fun. Sooner or later, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to clear her name. Some way other than turning myself in. Thank you. 